In this brand new video, you will now discover dictionary in Python. Please, do not forget to smash that like button, for the YouTube algorithm, since it does really help supporting us, and providing new free content, once a week. Are you interested to be part of this community? All the links are in the description below. Now, let's play this video. Creating a dictionary in Python is as simple as placing key value items inside curly braces, separated by comma. And each key is separated from its associated value, by a colon. While values can be of any data type and can repeat, keys must be unique, and of immutable type, like string, number or tuple with immutable elements. Let's have a closer look at its syntax, so you can declare your own dictionary. Here is an example, in which you want to store an employee record. First, let's declare an empty dictionary, using curly braces. Eventually, you will add all of the personal information about the employee, so you can store its information and then access it, later. Consequently, you will get as result a dictionary with the age, city, job, name and email address of an employee. Dictionaries are pretty straightforward, but here are a few points you should be aware of, when using them. Keys must be unique. A key can appear in a dictionary only once. Even if you specify a key more than once during the creation of a dictionary, the last value for that key becomes the associated value. Notice that the first occurrence of the key name Jeremy has been replaced by the second one Digital Academy. Key must be immutable type. You can use any object of immutable type as dictionary keys, such as numbers, strings, booleans, tuples. Otherwise, an exception is raised, when mutable object is used as a key. Value can be of any type. There are no restrictions on dictionary values. A dictionary value can be any type of object, and can even appear in a dictionary, multiple times. There are lots of other ways to create a dictionary. You can convert two value sequences into a dictionary, using the built-in function dict. The first item inside each sequence is then used as the key, and the second, as the value. You can also use the dict function along with the zip function, to combine separate lists of keys and values, obtained dynamically, at runtime. Eventually, you may also want to create a dictionary with default values for each key. If you are interested in any of these cases, or want more detailed examples, please go on our website, digital.academy.free.fr, and check out this post. If you like this video, please, do not forget to give a thumb up, and subscribe our channel. Digital Academy, learn free. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like, comment, and share.